We always use smartphones, computers, and many other kinds of modern gadgets nowadays. But do you know that some of the materials used in the production of these modern gadgets came from rare earth elements? Watch the video to learn more. Hi! Good day to everyone, Richard Aguilar here. And once again, this is Arthur. And we are back again today to give you another wonderful video. So, before we get started, be sure to subscribe and smash the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our great videos. Today, we are going to bring you the latest about rare earth minerals demand, production and mining. And having said all that, let's get into our video. Number one is neodymium is in demand and China control its supply. Powerful magnets are necessary for an iPhone to vibrate or a Tesla Model 3S motor to spin. If you combine neodymium with iron and boron, you can make a neodymium iron boron magnet, which is the most powerful type of permanent magnet ever created. And demand for these magnets is on the rise. But 80% of the world's neodymium comes from China. You may not have heard of neodymium, but you're probably carrying some of it around with you right now. It's in your cell phone, your headphones, and you might be driving several pounds of it around in your car. Number two is China boosts rare earth mineral mining. China generates around 70% of mined rare earth minerals and controls 90% of the market. Rare earth minerals are used in smartphones, high-powered magnets, targeting systems, jets, and more. President Trump has called on increased production in the U.S., while Greenland and India also hope to compete with Beijing for dominance in the sector. Number 3. Huge deposits of rare earth elements found near Japanese island. The researchers have found more than 16 million tons of rare earth deposits beneath the seabed near the island of Minami Torishima, Japan. 1800 kilometers from the country's mainland, enough to supply to world on a semi-infinite basis, according to a study. Rare earth metals are crucial in the making of high-tech products such as electric vehicles, mobile phones, and batteries and the world has relied on China for almost all of its rare earth material. Number 
Number four is China could cut rare earth supplies to the U.S. China is by far the world's largest source of rare earths and accounts for about 70% of global production. The country has sunk 37% of global reserves. Rare earths refer to some 17 chemically similar metallic elements known for their unique characteristics, especially their outstanding chemical, magnetic, and fluorescent properties. Rare earths are not actually very rare. They can be found across the earth's crusts. However, they are often in low concentrations and are difficult and expensive to mine. Number 5. Rare Earth Elements Could Boost Appalachian Region A closed coal mine just south of Morgantown may actually signal the future of the coal industry through a mining byproduct known as Rare Earth Elements. While they aren't household names, rare earth elements are used in many products. Cell phones, computers, magnets, and especially in national defense hardware. Right now, the U.S. imports over 80% of its rare earth elements from China. But experts say developing more domestic sources will help the U.S. economically and environmentally. Number 6. NASA wants to mine an asteroid full of precious metals. For the first time, NASA is planning a mission to explore an asteroid. The space rock 16 Psyche is full of potentially valuable precious metals like gold and platinum, but that's not why they're going. In fact, due to all metal it contains, some are reporting that it could be worth up to 700 quintillion dollars. While there's been speculation about how much gold there is to be found, scientists feel that 16 Psyche is mainly made from iron and nickel. This would make its composition similar to the Earth's core. So, that's all for now. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have something to say about this video, please write some comment below. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. And this is Arthur. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching and see you on the next video. video.